Hi everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and it's been a while since I created a new video. So today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Namecheap domain to Google domains. And the reason you would like to do this is because Google may be offering you a slightly cheaper price than Namecheap. Totally depends on your country. And Google also offer free privacy protection which Namecheap also does. But with Google domains you may have a slight advantage with regarding to the DNS update process. So it may happen a bit quicker but uh, nothing major noticeable. So let's start this tutorial. And the first thing you have to do is log in to Namecheap and uh, go to your dashboard and here you will see the list of domains uh, connected to your account and so this domain is going to expire soon and i want to transfer it to google domains so um, i will here go to manage and from here go to sharing and transfer okay so when you will click here um, it yeah here just scroll down and you will see this first thing uh transfer out uh domain log by default the all your domains on namecheap will be logged it is a security feature so the first thing you have to do is unlock it okay so you can see this message domain unlocked successfully and now what you have to do is uh generate a authorization code so click here and um, then namecheap will ask you why you are transferring your domain from their service so if uh, it's optional so if you want um, you can fill here um, let's say i will put google domains okay but this is completely optional and you may fill the reason why you are transferring from namecheap to google domains and then click on send code okay so now let's check our email okay so here in the update section you can see um, requested authorization code for smarthelpguides.com so this is the authorization code so now we have got we have unlocked the domain and also got the authorization code from namecheap so now let's go to google domains okay um, and everyone has a gmail account i think so all you have to do is just go to this url domains.google.com slash registrar i will put this in the description so you can directly follow this link from there okay and you will see the screen here and there will be two options find the perfect one uh create a, that is create a new buy a new domain and the second option is transfer a domain so click on the second option transfer a domain and here uh, type your domain name so for example my domain name is this so i will simply copy and paste it here okay and then press enter so now what google will do is it will check if your domain is unlocked and it can be transferred so you can see the steps uh, prepare domain transferring this domain to cost will cost you this much money okay and uh, it will show you your current registrar uh, it is correct mine is name cheap and uh, it is showing that it may take up to uh, 20 minutes for the changes to take effect so um, it is showing it can it has detected that the domain is unlocked so that's good and the second step is uh, enter the authorization code so now let's go back to the email and from here copy and paste this authorization code okay so just paste it here and then click on continue okay so it is showing that uh, should we import your current web settings copy and let google manage my dns settings it is recommended so it is showing that we found your website at this and this there are two uh, dns records but uh, it did not find any email so basically it will detect automatically detect all your current dns settings and copy them so uh, or if you want it can uh, keep my current name servers and don't import any other settings so um, just uh, choose the recommended settings and then click on continue okay now i want to show you that uh, when you you retain all the then and add an extra year this number uh, this my domain expiry date 
and after the domain will be the, so it will show you that the next registry uh, till when the registration will be valid so you can see if i register transfer now the next uh, registration date will be 24 november 2021 so next year and um, transferring your domain to google requires an additional year of registration okay so that's fine it again show you the price and privacy protection is on so make sure this option is turned on because else your uh, contact information will be uh, accessible to spammers and so you will get a lot of spam and um, it's a privacy protection is uh, recommended so unless you are a business and you want your contract information to be public you can turn off this option but for everyone else it is recommended to please turn this on and then the auto renew option so you can uh, keep this on or off it is up to you so you can see the total money due today okay and then click on proceed to checkout and here you can see for business in your current country okay so now let's put my name here just into your name this will be all your personal details Okay, again here you can see privacy protection is on for your domain so uh, all the person my personal information i just filled will not be visible for everyone uh, in public and then here you can see um, if you want email communication from google um, so it's again up to you so let's say i will take this and then save and continue okay so now it will show you the total payment due um, here you can see this is the total amount due right now with tax so um, i already have a credit card attached to my google account so if you don't have you will you can simply add your credit card here credit card or debit card or your, any, any other payment option you may want so if i drop down uh, click on this option there is an option to add another credit or debit card so to make payment for google uh, it depends on your country okay so i will select my existing card and then um, i do not there is no promo code okay so then i will simply click on buy okay so here you can see the status transfer in progress so now let's check if we got any other email so if I go to my inbox and here in updates, there is a email from Google, your Google domains purchase receipt and um, this order and you can see I have made the payment and now let's again here, let's see the transfer status and step two of three is completed, ask the registrar to release this domain and it could take until 29 November 2020 and they might so you may get an email from namecheap for confirmation that you really want to transfer this domain to google and this is a security feature and um, so that's how basically it is and right now i did not got any confirm um, any email from namecheap so refresh it to see if there is anything from namecheap okay so now i can see is a uh, email from namecheap and domain transfer confirmation request so this is what we wanted so standardized form of authorization domain name transfer um, the, they have received this uh, request for transfer if you want to proceed okay so to immediately complete transfer click on this website link in the email and here you will see a page where you can approve the transfer process immediately so just click on the approve button here to uh, and then you will see the approve has been completed successfully message and now let's check on google domains um, if the domain has been transferred to them uh, if it is, has been uh, it will show it the, in the da dashboard so here you can see the re next renewal date and you can see it has been transferred successfully and we have to just um, verify our email address as the final step so just click on the verify email address link in your email and um, then it will open a new tab in google domains and here you can see the email verification notification has been gone and that's it guys that's how simple it is you will also get a second email from google 
confirming that the domain has been transferred to them and the privacy protection is on and everything so that's how simple it is to transfer any domain from namecheap to google domains